Hey everyone, this is part two on how to make the camera rotate around your character. So in the last part we got we got this to work, this rotation, but we still have to do this one. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I don't want to manually add the logic breaks again here, so just select this plane, hold shift, select that one, and hit control C and copy the logic bricks. Now all we have to do is change the message right here. Change it to turn 2. Now go to your empty and we just need to do the same thing except this one, This time we need to give it a negative value so that it turns the other way. So change this to message, turn 2, property, add Property name is camera turn value negative negative thirteen. Now if I play it, you can see that it rotates this way when I hover over this and it rotates that way. Now there's just one problem. First, let's parent the I'm going to parent the the empty to the character. So select the empty, then your character, and hit Control P, make parent. Now, if I play it, you can see that there's one problem. If, for example, I go behind this wall, you can see that if I start hovering over this or this one, and I rotate, then it stops rotating because the plane is inside the mesh right here and the mouse is no longer hovering over it so it doesn't turn anymore now to fix this we're just gonna put this these on a different scene so up here go to click this let me delete this one really fast click here add new and select full copy now delete everything except your camera and the two planes and rename it. I'm going to name it HUD. Go to your scene. Select your camera and add this and the actuator change it to scene add overlay scene and change it to HUD which is the name of that scene now you could go ahead and delete these the two planes since they're over here and now if I play it you can see that they're right here because they're they're being overlaid onto this scene and if I go back behind the wall see that the the plane doesn't go inside the mesh because it's overlaid all the time now one more thing that we have to add is you can see that if I turn the camera then my orientation is all messed up because my character goes that way and my camera is facing this way so to make the camera reset or the rotation reset just select the empty add sensor controller actuator and change this to mouse middle button or whatever else you want and change it to property assign property is camera turn value 1 so now if you rotate it, you can rotate, and then to walk again, just hit the middle mouse button, and it resets the view, or the rotation, and you could walk. Also, another way of doing this, if you don't want to hit the middle mouse button, there's another way that you could do it, which is go back to your HUD, 
select this plane, hit tab to go into edit mode, select this edge, hit E to extrude, and bring it along the normal to about right here. Now select that face and hit P and separate it. Separate the face. And now let's change the draw type so we can see it a bit better. Go to the object tab and right here where it says draw type, select wire. And you could go ahead and do that on these also. Alright, select the big plane in the middle. Go to the logics tab and right here, mouse over, deselect the true level triggering and subject I'm gonna put reset so when our mouse hovers anywhere besides this it will reset the rotation so copy that subject which is reset go back to your scene and right here instead of middle mouse button put in message subject reset now if we play it and I forgot one thing, go back to the HUD and make the plane invisible. And also, if you don't have these options right here, all you need to do is go to the World tab and you will have an option right here to add it. So just add a new World tab if you don't have these options right here. So make that scene invisible. Go back here. Now if I rotate here, it rotates, and if I move my camera here, it resets the rotation. So right here it's rotating, and once I move my mouse back to the center, it resets it. So that's just another way of doing it. Now we also need to uh, make these invisible, so select those, make them invisible. So now we have this. Now we're going to make it so we could zoom in and out. Go on into side view, grab your camera, and in frame one, hit I, location. Split the viewport, makes it a lot easier. And in this one, hit zero to go into camera view. Now go to frame 20, grab the camera and bring it as close as you want to the character and hit I, location. Now what you need to do is right here we also add a an actuator and connect it to the always and change it to IPO property and we need to add a property like we did for the empty so go ahead and add a property change it to integer we're going to name this camera and property camera now add a sensor controller actuator connect them up and I will continue this in part three, which will be a short five minute part. So I'll see you in part three.